If we have a multi-story building, the structure grid is not always the same on each story. In this example, columns must be placed to different positions on the top slab to support a lightweight roof, so the grid used on the ground floor can be a good starting point. In Act 6, you can copy a grid to another story or to an, any position. Now we copy the from the ground floor to the story 5. We see the copy and we go to story 5 to adjust the grid. Now we are on story 5. We click on the grid to adjust it. Uh, we can rename the, the grid, which is much, much nicer to call it grid 5. And we can change the labels, the, the prefixes, anything. Uh, now here I will override the spacing for X and Y directions. So it will be a completely different grid. As you can see, the, the nodes, the top of the columns are not the new grid. So we can place uh, columns on the, at the intersection points. I, I could have uh, renamed uh, the grid lines, for example, from 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 L to uh, to another letter to to avoid the mismatch. But now we see that uh, the grid is different on the top story, and I show another type of copying. When, when we move the grid by an arbitrary vector. So you can shift the grid horizontally or to any position. So you can specify the, the offset vector uh, the usual way. So now I will shift one story down I will I will override the uh, the grid settings. I modify it. So now we have a, a third type of grid. That's it. This video tells a story about detecting modeling problems. So when do we detect the errors? The sooner, the better. This is an example, uh, a simplified example. We have a model, we matched it. We go to the static tab, do the calculation. We got the results, everything looks okay, but When we check a part, only the walls and set the range, the color range to the range of the active parts, we see that something went wrong. So we have to fix the model. We have to find the problem and fix it. We could have made this check before. So we can select three edges. This edge is free, it's okay, but the other one should not be free. It's uh, at the intersection of the wall and the slab, and the wall does not reach the slab above. You can see it only if you zoom in. That's the problem. So we have to correct it, go back to the geometry tab, move the node to the proper position, and at the other end of this wall, same. Okay, now fix the geometry. We have to uh, mesh 
the domain again and check it. Okay, now the free edges can be found only at the outline, the outer boundaries. We have a new analysis. Let's check again the walls, setting the, the color range to the range of values within the active parts. It's much better. <laughs> 